October holds the record for the wettest month of the year. Back in 1981, we did have one of the wettest days, and back in 1988, it was the wettest month on record. But so far for this October, rainfall is just about normal, and we could be seeing a few more showers coming through courtesy of a tropical wave. But most of the showers should be staying well out to sea, but moving towards north for Barbados, courtesy of some upper-level winds pushing towards the Atlantic. So we'll still see some cloudiness and some showers. A few of those showers could still turn heavy or thundery, especially during the heat of the afternoon and out towards Tobago along the main ridge and further to the north towards Charlotteville. Similarly, for Trinidad, look for a cloudy, damp start for quite a few of you. Near the hillsides, it will attract most of the showery activity out towards Arima, into Port of Spain and to Diego Martin as well. Further to the south, the areas which are already inundated and uh, quite waterlogged will unfortunately get additional rainfall, which obviously may exacerbate those areas that are already flooded. So in terms of uh, the temperature-wise, it should remain quite mild, possibly no higher than 32 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 30 in Tobago. And out at sea, the fresh breezes have subsided. We're just looking at a moderate breeze from the east of 15 knots. Just a few white caps expected, two meters out in the Atlantic, one and a half through the Caribbean. And uh, that's the way it should stay as we go through midweek as well. Now, what does the rest of the week hold in terms of uh, the rainfall? Well, following that tropical wave, the ITCZ may be brought into action, especially through Wednesday. So look for some longer spells of rain, some of them turning heavy, especially across in Trinidad. Temperature-wise, still quite mild all the way through into Thursday and Friday, but still cloudy and blustery at times. So that's your weather, and that's it for me.